Hi, I'm Willie and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. Thank you to everyone. So in this video, we're going to unbox a Synology. We're going to put the hard drives in it. You're going to listen to me possibly cuss because I'm dropping screws everywhere. Uh, and then we're going to install DSM and just get a quick uh, overview of the interface. And then the next video that I'm going to post will be our networking theory types of networks. That will either be tomorrow night or Friday. And then uh, I will do a follow-up video with this that will show the backup setup process. So without further ado, let's hop over and get the uh, Synology unboxed and get the hard drives in. Okay, so what we've got here is the... Uh, Synology DS216SE and the storage that we're going to use for this guy we're going to have two two terabyte red drives and the reason we selected this unit was low cost it was low cost the drives were low cost and um, we're going to be able to back up from a Windows server to one of these and then from this, uh, from that unit to this unit off site. And we're going to be able to do it. I haven't set this guy up yet, so we're going to go ahead and get him out of the box, put the hard drives in, then plug into the network, and uh, then we'll set the software up and install the DSM. So, all right, in the box, let's see. Power cable, Ethernet cable, power brick, quick installation guide. We're going to need uh, these screws for the hard drive. Z, hard drive Z. Then over on this side is the unit itself. We'll get rid of this. Doesn't look like there's anything else in it. Here I am defeated by some packaging material. Alright, so this is the Synology unit itself. It's got a fan keep cool. It's got two USB ports. These are not USB 3. You've got your power. You've got Ethernet there. You've got the Kensington lock spot. On the front it's got status, LAN, disk 1, disk 2, power, DS216 SE. Open this guy up here in just a second. We've got the uh, red hard drives. Uh, there is silica uh, salt in there. Do not eat the silica. So there's the first drive. And then here is the second drive. And we are likely just going to um, let Synology do its thing with these. All right, so a quick installation guide. You know I love QSGs. So we've got uh, the unit here. It shows us just sliding that off. Then it shows us how to mount the drives, put the screws in, put it back together, and then plug everything in. And then download.synology.com. So we'll check that out. But first, let's... Uh, get this guy cracked open so it just slides forward like that you get the plastic plastic shell here I'm gonna take this guy put it on its side but here let's take a look so you've got your SATA controllers in here here's that fan um, so it's relatively um, you know relatively low-end uh, processor and things like that but what really makes the Synology in my opinion shine is that software so we've got our SATA connectors on the drive here we're gonna take this guy we're gonna slide it in here and then you hear it actually 
slide into place. So here we've got the drive screws and then here we have the case screws to uh, actually screw the, the case closed. So we, uh, we'll go ahead and slide this other guy in. And they just fit in there just like that. Pretty, uh, pretty easy, uh, pretty painless install. It's going to be harder for me to put these screws in while I'm trying to make sure I do this uh, on camera so you can see it than, uh, than anything else. And I don't think my screwdriver is uh, magnetic. Okay, so we've got all of the drive screws in. So the next thing to do is to take the case that we slid off okay so oops we didn't need that screw anyway so now we're just going to put in these two screws in the back to hold this guy together okay so now we've got the chassis screws in so what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to take this guy, uh, we're going to get rid of our trash here, and we're going to plug the network in and the power. right here so we don't have to open that one so we'll go ahead and plug this in and get the power plugged in I'm surprised that the test phone isn't ringing plug in our power back here and power the unit on so you can hear it power on we're going to give it a minute let's uh hop over to the pc and uh install the software on this guy okay so we installed the physical hardware now we're going to set the software up and if we go to step number four on the quick start guide it tells us we can either go to find.synology.com or just disk station colon 5000. So first, now you remember, I just plugged it in. It beeped, which I think means that it's it's ready for us to initialize it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to just go to disk station colon 5000 and see what happens. Look at that. It did. It, <laughs> it found it. You know, and I run my own, uh, you know, my own DNS servers and all that internally. So... Um, this this will likely that has no bearing on it this will likely work uh, this step will likely work no matter what we could have also gone to uh, find.synology.com and um, looks like it's doing some sort of magic so yeah, through the, the power of the web browser and technology, they were able to find that. So we're going to go ahead and go with the disk station, and we're going to do a setup, and we're going to install now. So this is going to install the DSM, um, which is the disk station manager. This is a brand new uh, install, so we're going to hit install now. And it says all data on hard disk 1 and 2 will be removed during the installation. Do you want to proceed? I understand that all data on these disks will be removed. Click OK. And it says your disk station will be ready in approximately 10 minutes. Please do not turn off the power during the procedure. If this web page is unexpectedly ref refreshed or closed, please log into your DS216SE again as admin and leave the password blank. So an interesting note, if you ever forget the password on your DS216SE or any other 
well, I don't know if it works for all of them, but for these smaller ones, there's a reset button in the back. And if you take a paper clip and you hold it, and you hold it for four seconds, you'll, you'll, you will hear a beep, and that will reset the network settings and the admin password, and then you can log in with admin and blank. And this thing is going to town back here. I don't know if I can shut this light off and get a better uh, look at those LEDs. I don't know if you can see that. But they are going to town. So it's downloading and doing all of its stuff. And uh, I don't know if it's going to take the 10 minutes, but uh, yeah, it's installing now. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to pause the video. And as soon as this is installed, we will be right back. Okay, so we're at a point where it downloaded and installed the software, and now is restarting the disk station. Now, um, once this actually gets to where it's going to live, then we'll set a static IP on it at you know at that location. We'll do some other stuff, but um, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the interface and the packages that we are going to install. And uh, so, as soon as this is rebooted, and I am at the interface. I will go ahead and um, give you that tour. We'll be right back. Okay, so it's rebooted and now it uh, is is uh, prompting us to create our administrator account. And of course, I'm not going to show you the password. And uh, you can share the network location of your disk station with Synology to help you easily reach your disk station in the ne local network via find.synology.com. I'm going to uncheck that at this point. And now it is going to prepare the storage space. Okay, so now we have this. Congratulations, you have set up the administrator account. Please can, uh, complete the following steps. So we'll go to next. And <clears throat> I normally don't... Uh, let things install and I will be managing this for the client so we'll do download um, DSM updates and install them manually and we're going to accept uh, Sunday and Wednesday at 650 we'll run smart tests and then uh, enable bad sector warning for drives that's fine all looks good and I am not going to do the quick connect with these devices so we will skip this and um, if you skip this step, you'll need to set up port forwarding for remote access. Well, um, we have VPNs between these sites, so we'll just say yes. And I don't want uh, um, the recommended packages, so I'm going to skip this step. And we'll send some uh, anonymous statistics. And then you get all these tips. It tells you, you know, about the control panel, package center, all that good stuff. Uh, then there's DSM help. We're going to say OK and close that. We're going to go over to control panel. And it looks like there's already an update available. So we could uh, go ahead and do this update. That's checking. So we'll go ahead and download that. And we'll get that installed. And while that's working, we're going to come over to the Package Center. And we agree to the terms of service. And the packages that we want are, we're going to search for Hyper. Because we want Hyper Backup and Hyper Backup Vault. We're going to be uh, uh, doing a, a couple different backups. So we've got this guy pretty busy right now. You can see the CPU and the RAM. Uh, are kind of pegged uh, as we're downloading the uh, DSM and we're going to do that update. But we're going to go ahead and queue the install for Hyper Backup and Hyper Backup Vault and get those guys installed. If you're not familiar with Synology, um, you know, you can buy one of the lower end devices uh, with drives for just a couple hundred bucks. You can use the Amazon affiliate links that are down there in the description. So it's going to go ahead and install Hyper Backup and Hyper Vault. And I will do a video um, after I get these in place and show you how to set that, that backup up. We're going to have uh, cross uh, backups are going to cross. So 
it's it's kind of neat. It's kind of nice. It was very inexpensive, and we can manage it. Uh, the client can manage it, and he knows where his information is. So it's uh, I think it's a great solution, and it's low cost. So that is it for this video. That's uh, unboxing, installing the drives, installing DSM, and just getting up and going. I will do a follow-up video to this where we set up the backup, set the static IP, and things like that. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please come back for the next video, which will be networking theory types of networks. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon affiliate links down below to keep a few bucks rolling into the channel. Uh, got an Amazon check, which was a nice. Going to reinvest that in Amazon and bring some more stuff in for the channel for some videos, which will be really nice. And uh, as always, thank you for being here. And if you've got uh, any consulting needs, please contact me. Um, if you're just bored, go ahead and contact me. Use that test phone number and give me a call. Like I said, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. And we will see you in the next video.